The Canucks didn't wait long to open this one up, did they here, Cheryl? Uh, uh, not at all. I mean, that's how you take any life out of your opponent and send a very clear message right from the onset of the game that we are going to dictate play. Scoring in the opening minute. Unbelievable. Hughes works the puck in his own zone. And now he moves it quickly to Besser. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Sends it quickly to Krug. All smart heads up play to poke that one away. Devastating hit there. Oh, painful, James. I felt that one in the broadcast booth. And the puck skips away after that move. Hughes tried to do too much here. Right away. Not sure what happened there. Well, yeah, it looks like he was going left, then he was going right, but his inability to convert because he ran out of room. The Blues have it now. Slides it quickly to Krug. Over the line they come. Takes the bump but still hangs on to the puck. Battling for it along the boards. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Big open ice hit. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone and that's what he was doing right there. Here's a short pass to Garland. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Susie. Solid check to slow down. That knocks him off the puck. Susie's got it along the wing. Here he is in front. Beatington's going to hang on for a whistle. Vancouver's capitalizing their offensive abilities here in this first period. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Close save, and he handles it with ease. And he slides it quickly to Torpchenko. Side steps to check. And that's stopped by Demko. Demko's going to elect to slow things down a little and get the whistle. Well, he hasn't been really busy this period, James, but he's mentally focused, makes a nice save, and holds on for the whistle. More than half the period left to play. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Scrum along the boards. Great reach by Sundquist. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. The Blues ready to go on the attack. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Feeds it over. The Canucks look to start the transition game. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Stops that one. Joshua's moving the puck through his own zone. And he takes the feed. Rocks him on the play. Fires it on net. Too much traffic in the lane. Great little puck check by the goaltender there. They score! taken a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Vancouver's won the defensive zone draw. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And he loses control here. 
Great reach with the poke check by DeBrus. St. Louis has possession of it now. Denies him! I think that the goaltender's going to want this one back, James. Certainly looks frustrated on the goal. I mean, it's 60 feet away, and it's a snapshot. It's not even a clapper, but it finds its way to the net. Hey, good things happen when you put bucks on net. St. Louis has a little pep in their step as they get back to set a race here, Cheryl. Well, and sometimes after an ugly start, you have to reset, have good habits, and they've stayed the course here, James, and they've got themselves within one. And off the face-off, they take possession. Broken up with a stick in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Garland. The Canucks take it along the wall. Quick pass to Garland. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Pedersen's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Strong's going to play it against the half wall. Pass back to the point. Slides it across. Giving up the body there. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. He says, let's get physical on that play. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. Kairos gain the line and on the attack. The Blues have the puck in the corner. Great save by Tempo. Moves into the slot. Vancouver's got it from behind the net. Slides it diagonally to Susi. And now he moves it to Heinen. Intercepted at center by Kairou. Directs it on over to Bushnevich. The Blues move the puck in the defensive zone. Good read with the stick to break that up. Here's a short pass to Suter. St. Louis takes hold of the puck. Back to the blue line. Vancouver's got the puck now. Takes the pass. Poked away in the defensive end. Oh, what a save in front. Bennington styled in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we've got a 2-1 game. Vancouver's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. The Blues gain control of the puck. Pareko's got it in the offensive zone. And that ricochets off a twig in front. And it's a quick pass to Crew. Back to the point it goes. The Blues will play it in their own end. Return pass. Poked away at center by DeBrusque. The Canucks take it along the wall. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Broberg. St. Louis has the puck. There's a shot! Good save by Demko. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. The centermen glide into position. St. Louis wins the draw. Period number one is done. We're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. here for period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. 
Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Bennington's performance was outstanding in the first 20 minutes. I mean, he got shelled. He's got to be exhausted, James. His team needs to pick it up in front of him if they want to stay in this game. Pokes the puck away. Tries to feed it over to DeBrus. And he can't hang on after that hit. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. They're looking to make something happen through the neutral zone now. Knocks the puck down with a stick. Quick feed to Cairo. St. Louis plays the puck along the boards. Still keeps a hold of it. Vancouver's got the puck in the defensive end. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Puts it on net, and the puck banks off the glove. Now he slides it up to Bushnevich. Moves the puck into the attacking area. The Canucks gain possession in their own end. Great feed from the left side. Garland's got the puck. Oh, nowhere to go but against the wall. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Shen. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. He got all of that one. He got all of that hit. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Passes it over. Slides it back to the blue line. Off target. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute. And that's a result right there, not hitting the net. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's a 2-1 hockey game. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Forbort. And that goes off a player. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, and there's a great save by Bennington. Drills him. Dumps it in. The Canucks have it against the wall. And some good footwork to kick it away. And they come up with it as the puck skips out. Rocked on the play. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Pokes it away in his own end. Now a quick pass to Hoaglander. Good stand-up hit on the play. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Joshua has made an incredible play right there. I mean, he's stumbling. He looks like he's going to fall almost, but he's off balance, and that's the key. The puck isn't exactly where he wants it, but he still manages to find a way to get a shot off. And a great save. Picks off the feed. St. Louis has been in great position all night long. They've got their legs under them as well. They're working hard. Their coach will be impressed. He's it off. And that won't go as it hits one of his own teammates in front. Past the midway mark in this period, it's 2-1. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers strummed up. Great read with the stick. And that slides right out to center ice. Grabbed along the board by True. Bennington's last save is one that's going to be remembered for a while, James. It's going to be on the highlight reel. It's on one of mine now. I mean, he stole one there. It was all but in. And that desperation and compete level, it makes the save. Sends the feet in front. Right now, he is so dialed in, he's trapped in the puck, making save after save. It's about time this team starts working in front of him. Into the offensive end now. Great hits up play with the stick by Besser. The Blues take possession here in the open ice. Moves it to Joseph. On the attack along the boards. And he maintains possession of the puck here. Receives the pass. Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Demko. Well, he makes the save look easy, but it is a tough one. I mean, he's got to find that puck through traffic. He's got to fight. You can see him bobbing and weaving to make the save. 
So much pressure on this ship. They have their opponent running around everywhere, really chasing the game. Scores! And we are back to even! Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they've showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they just created and doing something with it. Well, he's known for his incredible shot and his quick release, and this one's from distance, James, but what I love about it is that he finds the lane. It doesn't go off anything, it's not deflected. It finds its way through the traffic to the back of the net. Here in the back half of this period, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Thomas takes possession after that center ice face-off. St. Louis gains control of the puck. Quick feed to Joseph. And the intensity start to ramp up here after that hit. Quick pass to Joseph. Sends it over to Kairou. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. He's got a step. Oh, that's extremely frustrating when you do the work to get in on a breakaway and then you get nothing in return, a missed opportunity. Here in the late goings of the period, we are all tied up in this one. Vancouver's won the faceoff. Strong defensive effort. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Stoppage and play offside the call. Puck possession so critical. Another faceoff coming up here. St. Louis wins that faceoff at center. Tosses it to Letty. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. From the point, they take control of it. Tremendous stop by Bennington. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Great save by the goaltender, who was in the right place at the right time. Dishes it to Torpchenko. St. Louis has it against the half wall. Works it across to Sundquist. Too much congestion in front. The Canucks play it along the boards. Avoids the post hit. They score! And the deadlock is broken as they take the lead. Oh, that's a huge shift. You can see everyone standing up on the bench. They know how much it means, but it's the next shift that matters most now, James. You want to kind of push and put pressure on your opponent when they're down. Well, he gets all of this one, and you know that players, they can shoot off one foot from behind them, in front of them, but this one's teed up perfectly right in his wheelhouse, and he gets all of it. Vancouver's got up by one here late in period number two. Well, there's not much difference in this game, James. That's why every goal matters, and they get the go-ahead heading into the intermission. If they can hold on to this, they're going to start the third period with a sense of urgency trying to hold that lead. Here's a short pass to Heinen. Oh, and some smooth skating to lose a defender there. Been a fun night in the barn as we bring an end to period number two, and there's still 20 more minutes of action to go here in regulation. Third period, don't go anywhere. <laughs> Coaches have shared their final messages. Players are on the ice, and period number three is coming up. They have dropped the puck here in the third. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now play. How do you view this one? St. Louis has played a strong 40 minutes of play, James. What I've noticed is that they've been confident with the puck on their stick. There's a lot of motion, there's good pass execution, and they've been dominated in terms of that department in the offensive zone. But if you look over the scoreboard, they're trailing, so they have to find a way to be more urgent as this game dwindles down and have attack mentality around the net. They need to drive the paint. Moves it quickly over to Heronic. And he slides it quickly to Miller. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Here they come on the attack. St. Louis.
was place it against the boards. No room for that one to get through. Moves it to Hughes. Looks to make a play over to DeBrusk. The Canucks have it now. And he slides it quickly to Besser. Gains the zone on the left wing. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Nice zone entry from the right side. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Passes it over to Strong. And that's poked away by Joseph. Fires it! That's gloved by Bennington. Well, we know he's got a great glove hand, and man, does he ever show it off right there with that stop. The Canucks have been rewarded for their offensive efforts early in this third period. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. Bennington's going to hang on to the puck and get a stoppage in play. Nothing gives confidence to a team more than a big save, and he's been doing it all night, James. Still plenty of time left in this frame. 3-2 is where we sit. It's a one-goal game in what has been a very fun contest to this point. Good defensive stop with the poke check. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. The Canucks get a hold of it. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Bennington. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Canucks are giving their fans something to cheer about as they lead it 3-2. Puck grab by Joseph. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Quick feed to Shen. And that's blocked in traffic. Denies that opportunity. Quick pass to Joseph. Taken by Pedersen. Gaining momentum up along the side. Here's a short pass to Saad. Knocked around, but keeps it going. Dumped in, and they'll go off. And the puck's kick free. Scores! And the scratching and clawing has paid off as we are back to even. Well, we're back to even, James. I really like their game. I mean, when you're pushing and you're trying to find a way to get ahead and on top, you have to trust the process. That's exactly what they've done, and they've been rewarded for it. Well, the goaltender's put in a real bad spot here as they just give up the puck in their defensive end, and he cannot recover. When you can't recover, you can't get to set position square to the shooter, and you open up the bottom half of the net. The Blues get the equalizer, and look at this. With the time of this game, huge, Cheryl. Huge goal with respect to timing as well, James. Not only is it the equalizer, it tells me one thing. They made the adjustments that they talked about in the intermission. A great start to the third. St. Louis takes possession of the neutral zone. Moves it quickly over to Torpchenko. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. They've got the defense outnumbered. Oh, a clutch save! The shot's coming from the middle of the ice and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position and he makes the save. Officials are set. Players seem ready. We're ready to get this thing back underway. The Blues win the draw here in their own end. And he moves it up to Neighbors. Slides it up front. Great vision to see that stretch pass. Handles the puck. Nice poke check. Solid hit on the play. The Blues have it from their own end. Picked up along the wall by Suter. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. And he takes the dish. Big save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. It's all tied up. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Dumps it in. The Blues have it now. Slides the puck up from the left side. Sends a pass over. Gets the puck in deep. 
The Canucks gain possession. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Sends it in on the attack. Scrum along the boards. St. Louis looks to break out in their own end. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Vancouver's got it in the offensive zone. Pareko's lugging the puck. Takes the feed. Make a change. Make St. Louis a change. plays it against the boards. And he hangs on to the puck. Nice zone entry on the left side. Dishes it off. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Feeds it over. Makes the save. St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Handles the pass. Great glove save. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. A big face off here inside the offensive end. And they win the draw on their own end. The Canucks move it ahead. Vancouver's got the puck against the half wall. And now it's grabbed by Miller. Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Oh, he made the save! How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Along the half wall with the puck. Taken by Pareko. St. Louis plays it along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Saad. Here he is, wrists it on net. Big time stop by Denko. Well, this is such a quick shot that comes from the slot that you have to have good reflexes to be able to make that club save. In the final moments of this period, we got a tie game. St. Louis wins the offensive zone draw, and they'll start with the puck. Demko's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Vancouver's won the draw. St. Louis looks to get things going now with the puck. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. The Canucks get a hold of the puck. Pass to Bluger. Slides the puck across to Hoaglander. And that's intercepted by Neighbors. Slides the puck ahead to Torchenko. Pass it up ahead. And he's ridden off the puck. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. Great reach with the poke check. And it's a quick pass to Krug. Under a minute to play in this dandy. And that's broken up. Looking for space along the blue line. And that carries off a stick. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Quick pass across to Falk. The Canucks gain control of the puck against the wall. 31 seconds to the buzzer. Big time stop there. And look at this. They've really ratcheted up the intensity here. Oh, and it goes out of the post. What a chance right there. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. And a nice save there as play continues. Slides it across. And that doesn't reach the net. Let's see what the official says here. As the official makes the way over the bench to talk to the coach. I mean, this game is anybody's game right now, sure. But yeah, it's a critical juncture as well here, James. And the coach wants an explanation as to why the official's making the call at this time. win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Denies him on the play. This has been a barn burner tonight as the horn sounds and we are going to overtime. If you thought this was dramatic, 
You ain't seen nothing yet. Stay with us. the pass. Slides the puck to Heronic. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. The Blues move it in. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Besser. The Canucks play it along the wing. Letty's been slashed. Penalty coming up. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Well, overtime is sudden death and now you find yourself shorthanded. Well, the PK unit, they know their role. They didn't come out here, sacrifice their bodies and get it done. down the hatches things should open up here with a little four on four on the ice well four on four is similar to three on three there's more ice available and you can't just dump it in you want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice that's two on ones all over Shot flushes the leather what a save by Demko Offensive zone faceoff. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Denies it in front. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Another faceoff looming here on this power play. Luger's quick stick off the draw wins possession. And they get the puck out of harm's way. Angles it over to Fulk. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Vancouver's got the puck shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Shens into the offensive zone now on the attack. Big play inside the defensive zone. And they get the puck out. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Can they capitalize on this power play? Here comes the face-off. Vancouver's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Skates to the crease. Trying to get it out of their own end. Clears the zone, and they needed that. It's such a great play, James. I mean, at this time of the game, you have to find a way to get the puck out. You're under a lot of pressure. You got to be aware of everyone and where they are on the ice, and you get the clear. Great play. And we're moments away from getting back underway here with the puck drop. Oh, a missed opportunity here in overtime as the. <laughs>